And they say third time's the charm. <laughs> this is the third time of, of me trying to record this. Um, I'm going to have to apologize for not posting, posting any videos lately. My health uh, took a turn for the worst. Um, a little bit about the background. Oh, four and a half years ago, I was diagnosed with cancer. Uh, COVID hit, shut down everything. I was delayed three months, almost died from it. Uh, had the tumor removed. Had four biopsies on the tumor prior. One of those biopsies infected the tumor. And after the surgery, the infection spread and liquefied two feet of my intestines. And, there are, and they had already removed 11 inches of it. Um, fast forward to today. Uh, recently was diagnosed with a fistula. Look up male fistula, fistula if you're interested in that. Uh, let's see what else. Yeah. Went to go see my oncologist. He said, no, 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 there's no cancer. Uh, but... There's so much inflammation down there, and there's a bunch of scar tissue on top of it, and the scar tissue is growing. Uh, it's pretty much trying to cut off my kidneys access to my bladder. So here, within a week, I have to go into surgery again and have, well, normally they just put two shunt two stents in there but you know i asked them why they had to do it the way they were going to do it and they said it's just too bad it's just too far along you have to have uh this other procedure done so basically what they got to do is i got to make two incisions in my back and shove these wires into my back and put bags in there that way to get my kidneys to drain so I don't know how often I'm going to be able to post, but I do have a video coming out here pretty soon. I got to finish working on it and putting it all together. It should be out on Friday. Today's Wednesday. Uh, maybe Saturday. Uh, what else? And my car broke. One of our cars broke down. The last roadworthy one that is. I we have three vehicles. The one, I can't pin down exactly what's wrong with it. I've replaced the throttle body sensor, the throttle body, the EGR. Um, the other one has, uh, oh, geez, two sensors out on it. That went out last year. It's been parked. And that one's the uh, Pontiac GT6, the, uh, the dance slash sports car. The Expedition... We had that cold freeze, and I knew how to weak sell a weak uh, coil on one of my cylinders. I didn't know which one. I know which one it is now. But that went out, and we went down to go get the parts for it. Because in their infinite wisdom, back in the old day, you had one cap, one coil, and all the, all your spark plugs. Now it's a coil per spark plug. And it's more expensive. Go figure that. Anyways, so we drove down there after the cold snap was over. All the ice was gone. Pull into the parking lot of the auto parts store, and steam is rolling out from underneath the in, underneath the hood. Turns out, not only did my coil on my on cylinder number eight go out, but the thermostat went out, and so did the water pump. Now, I used to work on cars all the time when I was younger. I used to have, I used to have uh, hot rods, a couple of muscle cars. Uh, I even used to have a 60, 62 Buick Invicta with power seats, power doors, power windows, air conditioning, and a 401 Wildcat in there. Now, that's the only year that came with all those options. But I sold that for $500, broken motor mount. Guy took me for a sucker, and he got me on that one. I was really young, and I'd known the 
value of that car the way it sat I, it was worth three grand back in the 80s the way it sat nowadays it would be worth about twenty twenty five thousand dollars <laughs> but anywho i figured i'd just uh update y'all let you know i'm still alive i'm still kicking and we will be putting videos out it's just when i'm feeling better i just hope they one of these doctors gets their head on straight and goes to the source instead of trying to manage the fallout oh yeah and i also have to go in for a ct biopsy within the next week too well i figured I'd just let y'all know get y'all up and i'd like to thank you for sticking with me so far and i will see you next time